We're going to break down Adho Mukha Vrikshasana, or downward facing tree pose. In other words, handstand. So that was a long version. We'll break it down just a step at a time, as basic as you want to go. This is Starlight Moon. <laughs> She's going to join us today. <laughs> so different ways to get into handstand. So you could use a wall. You could kick up. But really what we're trying to do, ultimately, is to use the core and lean ourselves into the posture. So I'm going to show you how to do that. A good way to practice piking is in headstand, which we broke down before. So handstand, similarly, now the arms are straight. Just like my headstand, I'll walk my feet in as close as I can. We're losing starlight. That's OK. <laughs> so I'll lift a leg. And notice my top foot is super engaged here. So I'm pressing through the ball, the foot spreading the toes. My hands, super engaged. I'm spreading the webbing as much as I can. So I can start to lean on the ball of the foot. At first, if you're not able to lean your way into the posture, you can bend the bottom knee and just play with a couple of hops. And I'm trying to minimize momentum. I don't want to use a lot of momentum here in this pose. If I do, what's going to happen is I'll fall the other direction, which I don't want to do that. So you can play with that for a little while. Over time, this bottom foot moves closer to the hands. I'll lean forward. At the bottom of an exhale, reach to the top foot. And float up. Notice my feet are still very engaged. As I come down, I can do it with one foot and land as softly as possible. So lots of core, but also lots of good body mechanics. Notice that I was sticking the hips back, just like we did in the headstand, reaching through that top foot, and then as I come down, super slow and controlled. And that gets easier over time. Great times to practice in headstand or even the shoulder stand more basic. And make sure you're having fun and get your yoga on. <laughs>